I go to the movies. It's getting kind of excessive. <laughs> so, yeah. So this uh, this movie, it was at the Ragtag Cinema. And it is the last one of those, uh, you know, the warped and faded thing that's been going on? This is the very last one. And uh, that has something to do with the Alamo Drafting House and how they found a bunch of old movies. And they started showing them to weirdos on Wednesday nights. <laughs> and, uh, and now they're like archiving them or something, restoring them and stuff like that. So that's a noble pursuit. But uh, yeah, so the name of this one is called The Visitors, The Movies. And, um, yeah, this was wild. <laughs> this is like a crazy movie. I don't know. There's so many things in it. This, this is by far the best of, of these movies that they've shown during this. On all, on all points. I mean... It's it's crazy, it's weird, it's got a bunch of unexpected things. Man, sometimes the big truck drives fast. It's got unexpected things. This the soundtrack choice is amazing. I love the song that they keep playing in this movie. It's a uh, it may have just been in the theater I was in, but it seems like the that's is mixed a little too loud, that song, sometimes, but so this movie is is out there. There's like I didn't exactly understand everything that was happening, but there's like so this like weird desert dimension or something and there's there's the creepy girl and the old man who's kinda like looking like Obi Wan Kenobi and <laughs> There's a cloudy sandstorm that's actually snow. And that happens and it's like, oh, oh no. There's going to be a little girl that's evil. I got to go to Earth or something and stop her. Or something weird. So he goes and meets Bleach Blonde Jesus or something. <laughs> and he's like, oh no, the, the little girl, she's going to be bad. I gotta go find her. So he goes and sets up a some sort of base on the roof of some random building. <laughs> There's I can't describe everything as but it's like this girl, she like she's obsessed with getting her mom pregnant and and but her mom doesn't want to get pregnant and she she has a pet hawk. That attacks people, and yeah, yeah. Well, this movie is ancient, but it's like spoilers. I'm doing the spoilers because this movie, I just have to try to process everything I saw here. So, the little girl, she has a birthday party, and there's a gun in the present, and then she shoots her mom, and she's like, "Oops!" <laughs> it's the funniest scene because she's like, "Whoop!" <laughs> she. So now her mom's in a wheelchair, the rest of the thing. And her mom's got one of those lifts for a wheelchair to go up to the second floor. And the girl's just always riding it up and down the thing, you know, like playing around. And <laughs> That's just the craziest thing. She keeps trying to get her mom to be pregnant. And there's like some sort of evil corporation that owns the basketball team. And... They're using the girls' powers to make the basketballs explode so that the other team can't score their their points at the last second. <laughs> this is just nutty. This everything that happens in this movie is crazy. <laughs> but the evil corporation's like, oh, this guy isn't even good at tricking this lady into getting pregnant so we got a kidnapper and artificially inseminator and <laughs> it's just it's just 
I don't, and I, they don't explain why this girl, it's like this brother's supposed to be her other half, or are they supposed to get together? Because that, that'd be weird if that's what's going on. I mean, the whole situation is weird. This, this little girl, she has a potty mouth, and she says the most awful things to her mom and, and to this investigator. <laughs> so the police are trying to figure out why there's this gun at the kid's birthday party and shoots the lady. and <laughs> It's the craziest stuff. And then... <laughs> It was, and then, <laughs> then there's this like housekeeper that gets hired and she's like, oh, this girl's no good, you know, and she says the craziest things to her. It's just, it's just wild. Everything that happens in this movie is wild. Then there's like, then it's like a scene straight out of Alfred Hitchcock's The Birds. Where all these birds fly in and they start attacking the little girl and <laughs> I don't exactly understand <laughs> what all was going on. But some of the bird effects there's like this this weird talking like ceramic bird that keeps popping up and I guess has special powers and Is able to like summon birds to attack or something. That I didn't think that that didn't seem to be explained all too well, <laughs> either. <laughs> uh, but then in the end, the little girl gets to go live with bleach blonde Jesus, and she's good now because they shaved her head or something. I don't know. <laughs> All I can say, oh, the stunts in this movie. I don't know how this motorcycle man didn't die. This, is this, did the director kill a stunt man? I mean, not on purpose, but did this guy accidentally die? It is the most horrific motorcycle crash I have ever seen in a movie. Like, it doesn't cut away. You see this guy, and he just, the way this guy's body contorts and bounces off the windshield of this car it doesn't look like a dummy it looks like a real human is now dead <laughs> and it's just like did they just accidentally kill a guy and leave it in the movie that was nuts <laughs> and there's there's a bunch of crazy weird things like that there's this weird ice skating battle the girl has with the with some bullies and one guy flies through a window I don't know. There's... The movie is just... Just way out there. <laughs> but it was kind of amazing, too. I don't know. It's like... It was all very... It was all very artistic. You know? And it was kind of a wild story. <laughs> and it, 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 it does things that makes you real uncomfortable. <laughs> but it's just like, man, I can't believe I've never heard of this movie before. <laughs> but anyway, so it was a pretty intense watch. But that's just my opinion, you know. And my opinion doesn't matter, and your opinion doesn't matter. Even about these really old movies. So, we just put our opinions on the internet, you know. It's what we do as a culture. No one knows why we do it, but we can't seem to stop. So, <laughs> those are my thoughts and opinions to be thrown on top of the pile. Soon to be buried by everybody else's. And uh, But for what it's worth... I thought that the visitor was a pretty amazing thing to see. <laughs>